Well, let me see why you have a new album out now. Yeah. But first, I would like to go back to the previous one. Okay. Uh, it's been two years now. Yes. Um, how do you look back on that album? Because I can think you have now a fresh view on that album. Uh, you know, hindsight is always twenty twenty with any record. Anything you yeah. do, I think, as you know, a musician or you know, someone in a band, you know, I think you, you know, it's easy to, uh, it's easy to. Um, I mean, and it's not easy. I don't mean to say it's easy. It, 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 when you're making a record, you're kind of in the moment. You know what I mean? And then when the record comes out, you have this time for it to absorb, and the time afterwards. And you know, it's like, like for example you start playing the songs live and you realize that um, you know obviously the people it's new to them so it takes them a while to embrace it I think it was the last two European tours that we did where we started to actually see the audience start to you know really had really embraced these songs and when we started to play them really were getting excited and jazzed up that we were playing them so you know I think it takes a while to you know for for a record to for the people that are performing the music and for the people hearing the music for that to kind of absorb so you know you can you can look back and say, oh, I wish I did this differently, or I wish I hadn't done that, or I wish I had done more of this, you know what I mean? But, I mean, in the end, it is what it is, and you kind of got to live with that, you know? But can you, can you, can you listen to your own albums then, or...? I mean, when we listen to our, our own music, I don't think we do to build our ego up kind of no. thing. It's more like just more kind of a critique, you know, and more to just maybe learn from your mistakes and, and try to see what you did so you can either not repeat it or try to come close to it or you know, whatever, you know? But is it true then, then mm -hmm. sometimes people say that, that every album is a, is a reaction to the previous one, is it for you too? I mean, when you, when you say reaction, what do you mean, like? I will say, uh, <coughs> if, you, if you have made a really hard uh, guitar-driven album, then maybe sometimes then you play the songs over and over and then you think, well, maybe I need to give these songs more space on a new album, or I don't I think, know. But I think it's interesting to note that with Warrior's Code, um, it was more of a, I think, this, the themes of the songs are kind of, you know, there's, there's different themes in each, each song that are being kind of tackled, and with The Meanest of Times, the new record, it's kind of like a cake that was all baked at the same time, and there's kind of a theme running through all of it. Um, I mean, in saying that, you know, Warrior's Code is, you know, Warrior's Code, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Warrior's Code is like, you know, I, I, I love Warrior's Code. I think it, I think it was a, a great record, but I am much, I'm much happier with the way the Meanest of Times went because there was a fluidity to the writing process. There was a, there was a, um, like I said, a theme that kind of was running through it where um, with Warrior's Code, it was written kind of sporadically. It was like we had ideas, they were, you know, taken down and then they became songs. And, you know, then there was a period where we didn't have anything. So it was like, okay, we'll come back to this again. And with, with Meanest of Times, even though we started um, writing the record a long time ago, um, it was, you know what I mean? It was just like ideas kept coming, things kept, you know, people just kept having more ideas in it. So there was a fluidity to the whole creativeness of it. So it made it easier to appreciate it now as it's, as we're listening to it than with Warrior's Code. I think we appreciated it because it was a new record at the time, but it's harder to, when you look back on it now, you go, uh, this didn't really fit there or, you know, it should have been more of this or, you know what I mean?